collective worship for the 19th of January 2022. Good morning, welcome to our collective worship this morning and so I'm going to invite you just to be still for a moment or two and to invite God uh, to speak to us as I share the story this morning and as we think a little bit about the theme of courage and what this story reveals to us about how we can be courageous in the way we live our lives. So let's just uh, light our candle and uh, you may remember our phrase that we say together as I light this candle, Jesus Christ is the light of the world, a light no darkness can quench. I hope you joined in with that. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, be with us as we think about this story of Zacchaeus this morning and help us to be courageous like Jesus and like Zacchaeus as we respond to him. Teach us, we pray, in Jesus' name. Amen. So your theme, I think at the moment, is thinking about uh, part of our uh, vision statement as a school about being courageous uh, and thinking about the theme of courage. And I want to tell you this story. It's a story from uh, Luke chapter 19 from the Bible. Uh, and I want you to think about the two characters involved and think about how they might be showing courage in the way that they act and the things that they do and I'll try and pick out a couple of those things later on and then maybe we can pray together about how we can follow their example. So Jesus was going through a city called Jericho and a man there was named Zacharias and he was very important as a tax collector and he was very wealthy. He wanted to see who Jesus was but he wasn't able because he was very small, too short to see above the crowds who came to see Jesus. So he ran ahead of the crowd to a place where Jesus would come and he climbed up a tree, a sycamore tree as it happens, just so that he could see above the crowd to see Jesus. And then something really surprising happened he was at the back of the crowd hidden in a tree but when Jesus got there he looked up and he said directly Zacchaeus hurry and come down I must stay at your house today. Zacchaeus came down quickly and welcomed Jesus gladly everyone saw this and they began to complain Jesus is staying with a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood and said to Jesus, I will give half of my possessions to the poor. And if I have cheated anyone, I will pay back four times more. Jesus said to him, Salvation has come to this house today because this man also belongs to the family of Abraham. The son of man came to find lost people and to save them. There's a couple of puzzling things there, isn't there? Poor old Zacchaeus was a tax collector. Well, it's the end of January and lots of people are having to fill in their tax forms. And whilst we don't particularly like it, at least the rules are clear and we're paying to our own government who we elect. Uh, and so to most of us, we think it's worth paying for the health service and for our schools to pay our teachers. And so we pay our taxes quite willingly. But in Israel at that time, it wasn't like that. The Romans had come and taken over the country and they were bleeding the country dry. And they did this by outsourcing they paid tax collectors and they said tax collectors you go and get as much as you can and you give us a majority of it but you can skim off the top anything extra that you can get so that meant these people had an interest in really squeezing people hard and people resented them and they were working for the foreign invaders so people really didn't like them so when Jesus 
pointed to Zacchaeus in the tree and then said, hello Zacchaeus, come down, come to me and then I'd like to come to dinner with you. They were shocked because this wasn't a person who should have been singled out by Jesus, their hero, and he wasn't someone who people respected. They hated him and they thought he was a really bad person. So I want to suggest there are a couple of ways in which Jesus shows courage. First of all, he sees the person, Zacchaeus, and not the role or the things that he's doing. He looks to see the human being behind those things. We all have reputations, don't we? Uh, and sometimes in the playground, people can gain a reputation and other people feel they don't want to be too much too friendly with them. Or at other times, we look to some people and think they're really heroes. We'd love to be friends with them, but ordinary ones we're not really interested in. Jesus says that's not how it is to be with us. And Jesus shows courage because he publicly aligns himself with Zacchaeus. So he says to Zacchaeus, in effect, despite the fact that this crowd all hate you, I want to be your friend. Are there people who you need to be friends with like that? Maybe not in your school. You probably all get on with one another, I'm sure. But there may be people who you know others aren't being friends with and they feel lonely and sad and excluded. And some of that might be things they have done. Will you have the courage to reach out and see the real person and not the things they've done or the role that they have played? Secondly, Jesus does this publicly. He goes to dinner. He really shares his heart with Zacchaeus and makes friends with him. And then what about Zacchaeus? Did he show any courage? Well, I think first of all, he wanted to see some change. He, he wanted to change and be better and to be accepted by people. And he thought that Jesus might be able to help him. That's why he really stood out and decided he wanted to find out what Jesus was saying. So he climbed up the tree and he wanted to listen. I think in our culture, people don't really like standing out and trying to have an open mind and that might be about religion or faith, or it might be about politics. He had the courage to go and see. I wonder if there are things you need to find out and think hard about and listen to other people. And particularly maybe to think about who Jesus is for you. Do you want to find out who he is? And then secondly, he had some courage because when Jesus welcomed him, and made him friends, he knew that he had to change. You remember, he gave away his money and he said he'd put things right with the people that he had done wrong to. Now that takes real courage to stand up for what you've discovered to be the truth and to actually make restitution, put things right with those you've offended. Are there people you need to say sorry to? Maybe you had a bit of a row getting ready for school this morning with whoever gets you ready. Or maybe you've just been a bit grumpy over the last couple of weeks. Are there people you need to say sorry to and to put things right? You need to have courage to really do that. Not just to say one of those mealy mouths, well, I'm sorry you're upset kind of sorries, but the real sorry that changes the way you act and the things that you do. Will you have the courage of Jesus to step out, to make friends and to welcome people who are different? Will you have the courage of Zacchaeus to look at Jesus, discover what he's saying and change the way you live because of him? Very important story for us, I think and something we can learn 
about courage. So I'm going to invite you just to be still for a moment and I'm going to invite you to pray about whether there's people you need to forgive, whether there's things you need to do and whether there are things you need to put right. So let's just be still for a moment. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this story of courage. We thank you for the courage of Jesus to reach out to someone who was excluded on the edge, someone other people really didn't like. Help us to be courageous in our friendships. And Lord, we thank you for the story of Zacchaeus. Thank you that he came to find out about you and risked climbing up that tree to get a better view. Help us to look more at you and to discover what you have to say to us. And Lord, help us, like Zacchaeus, to be courageous in responding to your love and care for us. Help us to put right what is wrong and to say sorry to the people we've hurt. In all, enlarge our hearts for courage and make us strong. These things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. And will you join with me in the prayer that Jesus taught us, asking that we could put God right at the heart of our lives and he will give us strength to be courageous. We're going to say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And a blessing as we go. May the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ give you all the courage you need to do and live how he calls you to by the truth for forgiveness and with courage. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you now and always. Amen.